Okay, uh, let's do another one. Problem five, um, problem 11, chapter five. Here we have this block sitting on this rotating table. We know the weight of it and uh, this table is starting to rotate from initial angle of velocity of zero. So omega zero is equal to zero. And there is an, uh, there is, um, an ad adhesive between this block and the table. Uh, by accelerating this table and increasing the velocity of it and also acceleration of it, finally the uh, adhesive is gonna break. This problem says after starting from initial angular velocity of zero, an angular acceleration of two radian per second is squared, finally the adhesive is gonna fail at time is equal to a three. And the question is, um, what is the ultimate shear force that this, this ad adhesive can tolerate? So we need to use this information to calculate the maximum force, the maximum shear force that this, the adhesive between the block and uh, the rotating table can support. So try to think about this problem and work on it for five minutes. Then after five minutes, we can work on it together. I'm gonna assume we did that. So, um, so by increasing the angle of velocity of this rotating table, the acceleration of um, this block is gonna increase. And force is proportional to acceleration based on Newton equation, F is equal to MA. So if I find acceleration of this block in that time, the time of the failure, I'm going to figure out what is the, what is the force between um, this block and, and the table. What is the shear force between them, right? So uh, to calculate the acceleration of this block in that moment, because this block is moving on a circle, acceleration is going to have two components, right? Uh, acceleration in the tangential direction, which the equation for it was r times alpha if you remember an acceleration toward the center or acceleration in the normal direction with the magnitude of r omega squared r omega squared or a n so um so we need to calculate omega in that time and uh, if I find the omega in, in that specific time, t is equal to 3, I'm going to be able to find acceleration in the normal direction. Angular acceleration alpha is constant, so r alpha is going to remain constant all the time. right? So by calculating a t and a n, I can add them together as two vectors to find the total acceleration of the block. Okay? So we need to find omega. If you remember for constant acceleration, omega is omega zero plus alpha times t. So if I put the numbers, omega zero is equal to uh, zero plus alpha is two times time, which is three. So omega is gonna be six radian per second. So um, the total acceleration the total acceleration of the block is going to be a square root of a t squared plus a n squared. So the total acceleration of the block at t is equal to 3 will be a t, which is r times alpha. r is 16 inch. We need to divide it to 12 to make it fit. Then times alpha, which is 2 squared plus acceleration in a normal direction is squared r omega is squared r again is 16 divided by 12 times omega which is 6 squared all is squared and if you calculate this number it's gonna be 48 point one feet per second is squared 
So um, based on Newton equation, F is equal to MA. And the mass, the weight is 0.1 pound. So we need to divide it by 32.2 to make it slugs, to make it mass. 0.1 divided by 32.2 mass times acceleration, which is 48.1. So F is going to be equal to um, 0 0.14. Nine three pounds. Uh, the other part of the problem is what, uh, how much this table is going to rotate from zero to three. So, because acceleration is constant, because alpha is constant, angular acceleration, alpha is constant, the equation for theta is going to be theta zero plus omega zero times t plus one half of alpha t squared and we have all these numbers theta zero is zero omega zero is zero times three plus one half of alpha is two times uh, t which is three squared um, it's going to be nine radians And if you um, change it to a degree, nine times um, pi, uh, nine times one hundred eighty divided by pi is going to be five hundred sixteen degree.